Everybody loves babies, but arguably, we capitalist humans love electricity more. And let's be honest, what do these babies do for us anyway? Be cute? No. Babies are lazy and I need something to charge my phone. But we have coal, gas, and other energy sources. Okay, and I for one care about the environment. According to accurate data, humans can create 100 watts of electricity doing literally nothing due to our breathing, heartbeats, limb motion, sweating, and literally every other bodily function. Probably saying right now, I want babies. I don't care about your full grown humans and their 100 watts. To that I say, calm your pampers. Now, I couldn't find data on how much energy is created by babies, and I didn't want too many searches related to babies and their bodily secretions in my search history. So let's just say that a baby creates 50, no, 51 watts because they cry a lot, which probably creates a lot of energy. It's important to note, however, we can't just use all of this energy because the human body needs electricity to survive or something. So let's only take half of the baby's energy, which is 25.5 watts of electricity that we can use. This gives the baby enough energy for normal life functions. So we now know that a baby can give us 25.5 watts of energy when doing nothing. But did you know that when the human body is sprinting, it can make up to 2000 watts of energy? Now, it would be unrealistic for a baby to sprint, but humans can create up to 500 watts of energy for a couple of minutes at a time during a jog, while professional athletes can keep this up for multiple hours. Sadly, babies can't jog and aren't professional athletes, but they can crawl. So let's say that crawling creates around 100 watts of energy because of how hard it is, but they need to use 70 watts of that energy. That gives us 30 watts of energy to use. At this point, you may be asking yourself, how would we actually get the electricity created by the human body? Well, we would use pyroelectric generators, biofuel cells, and the hydrovoltaic effect, which are all tested ways of converting thermal, chemical, and mechanical energy respectively into electrical energy. But at the same time, while the babies are crawling, we can put them on a treadmill and generate energy that way as well. Sadly, I couldn't find any data on babies crawling speed. So again, let's give a conservative guess of one mile per hour. And by using the sports art treadmill that creates electricity, we can calculate that a baby crawling for five minutes at one mile per hour would generate 16.5 six repeated watts, which we can round to 17 watts. Now we know that a baby crawling would generate 30 watts of electricity in five minutes just from their body, and 17 watts from just crawling. This means a single baby would make 47 watts of electricity in five minutes. Why am I only talking in five minutes? Because that's a realistic time for a baby to crawl. But we want to continuously run electricity, so at the same time we have a baby resting for five minutes, which creates, as we said before, 25.5 watts of electricity for us to use. Then these electricity babies take turns resting and running. During the break, the baby's parents can come feed the baby to keep up their good work. So, a pair of electricity babies will create 72.5 watt hours, which is equal to 0.0725 kilowatt hours every day. So how many pairs of babies crawling and resting for five minutes at a time would we need to power a country? Well, first you have to choose a country. And let's use a small one that would give us a realistic chance. <laughs> According to the US Energy Information Administration, America used 3.93 trillion kilowatt hours in electrical energy in 2021, which is equal to 10,767,123,300 kilowatt hours, which will round up to 11 billion kilowatt hours of electricity per day. So, how many babies would it take to power America for a single day? Now, before I give you my answer, here's my hypothesis. A lot of babies. So, America makes 11 billion kilowatt hours per day, and two babies make 0.0725 kilowatt hours per day. First, we have to divide the two, which comes out to 151,724,137,931 pairs of babies to make that much electricity. Then we multiply that by two to get 303,448,275,862 babies. So that's our answer. 300 billion babies are enough to run America for one day. Now is a good time to define what a baby actually is. A baby is a human age between zero and four years old, but a working baby is between the ages of one and four because babies can only really crawl at one. The United Nations estimates that 140 million babies are born each year, which tells us that there are 140 million children age one, 140 million age two, 140 million age three, and 140 million age four, which comes out to 560 million babies in the world which is a 600th of what we need. So to run America with babies isn't possible, but don't be sad because there are 2.2 billion children on earth and I think they can run faster than a baby can crawl. Now, I can't believe I just did this and now I feel extremely sad and unaccomplished. <laughs> ¶¶